Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can emulate Xbox 360 game controller for the PC game Daisy Standalone. Now, the game is still in alpha mode, so my game controller, which I'm using on PS2 controller, a lot of the buttons work, but not everything is working yet. I suspect maybe because the game is still in alpha, but hopefully in the future, they'll fix all these bugs. But at least I'll show you the process so that in the future you know exactly how to make this work with your particular game controller. So let's give this a try. So you go to more info section, I got a link where you can download a copy of X360 CE. And for this purposes of this tutorial, I'm using the latest version, but older versions work as well as too. So go ahead, download, extract the X360 CE into your DAISY client folder. At the time of this video recording, I'm using version 0.45. So let's go ahead, create the INI file and the DLL file for this game. And click on Next and for these uh, different settings here. If you're curious about the type of PS2 adapter I'm using, take a look in the bottom left corner of this video. So if I go to controller one, let's go ahead and test my buttons, A, B, X, Y, triggers, analog, select start, D-pads, everything's working, great, click on save, exit that, go ahead, start your DAISY 45 game, version 45, join a server, and test out your game controller. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. All right, here we are at the main menu of Daisy. So let's do this. So I'm gonna use both a combination of my PS2 game controller as well as my keyboard. Just makes this a little bit easier. So let's go to configure, go to controls, and this is to show you proof that go to devices, and this is just show you proof that yes, my game controller is detected. So let's go. Let's go ahead and click on close. Let's go to change server. Let's go ahead to my remote tab here. Make sure I got my server there connected. Click OK. I'm connected to the server. 44 out of 60 people. Great. Let's connect. Let's say the. Let's see the password. Dank. Daisy, press enter, and we're good to go. So what I'm going to show you in the gameplay video footage here, take a look at the camera, guys. Here's my PS2 controller, Sony PS2 game controller. I'll show you that, yeah, the camera does work. I can go in third person, first person. Um, my buttons are sort of messed up in terms of I can crouch fine. I can run. Um, if I had a gun, I can shoot fine. But if I have an axe, for whatever reason, I can't wield the axe. I don't know why. It's sort of effed up that way. But here is the ca the game. Look in the camera. I'm moving around. If I press select button, here's my guy. Here's my dude. All right. Yeah. Um, sometimes what I need to do is, uh, you know, select. Let's say uh, I'll press one on my keyboard here. Select my gun. Eventually, he'll select his gun. Looks like I might have disconnected from the server. But at least in the meantime, I'll show you proof that, yes, this does work uh, partially. Hopefully in the future, once they fix more of the bugs in this game, um, game controller compatibility will increase. But maybe you might get lucky and maybe your game controller will work out pretty much okay with this particular game as well. If I press uh, tab here, I guess that's not working either. Usually it would have brought my person configuration. But here's my guy again. Um, if I press R1, it sort of shows this, so here's a list of people here. I'll press exit there. I don't have a really good way to access my inventory on this game controller. I push all the buttons when nothing's working. Um, L2 does turn on like the zoom view, so that sort of works. I can crouch. I can go prone. Um, let me see if I can sort of get my, one of my weapons out. This game is a little bit buggy. I guess I'm going to have to skip that for now. But anyways, you can clearly see that this game works out fine. With the PS2 game controller, yes, there's a little bit of bugs here and uh, still needs to be work working out. But hopefully your game controller might be in better shape or it might be very similar to my game controller as well. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.